Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas SEL V6. This particular one is tourmaline blue, metallic on the exterior with Titan black leather red interior. It has bench seats, so this is a true seven seater. Uh, it is three inches longer than the previous generation of Atlas in 2020, 2019, or even 2018. It features the new front end with the LED running lights and LED headlights, all weather lights. Aggressive chin on the front there. Same V6 engine. New 20 inch alloy wheels. Still has the panoramic sunroof with power sunshade. Keyless entry on four doors. Easy kick open remote, remote hatch. Trailer hitch, tows 5,000 pounds and exhaust tips in the bumper and an enlarged reflector on the back more chrome integrated into the tail lights and into the rear atlas nameplate nice bowl line down the side from the wheel arches under the under the door handles and into the front wheel arch and un just under the lights into the bumper again it's keyless entry on all four doors let's take a look inside three seat memory set up right here forward and back or, or I'm sorry your lumbar support right here here's your forward and back and then also your um, seat back adjustments right here nice bold leather at seat with uh, bold white stitching there they've made the stitching brighter so it's more pronounced adjustable headrest there adjustable seat belt clip right here you can see that let's climb inside so now that we're inside powered door locks nothing's changed there you also have one touch up, one touch down on all four windows with a window lock right here. You do also have uh, the power mirrors and a heated mirror, but now the heated, heated mirrors are integrated into the defrost system. So when you run the defrost, the heated mirrors kick on. Does still have wood grain interior in the door panel, across into the dash and into the door on the passenger side. They kept the Volkswagen digital cockpit, of course, with a few upgrades, but I'll get back to that in a second here. You have a new and improved leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel. It's a little thicker, a little meatier than the previous one in 2020 or 2018 or 19 or 17. Um, I'm sorry, 2018 or 2019 or 2020, those years. Um, also, they eliminated the piano black spokes and now you have this kind of dull aluminum finish right here with the new Volkswagen logo in the center, which I kind of like. Um, the mapping of the buttons is all the same. So you still have volume control right here. Your safety features are gonna include lane assist, side assist, rear traffic alert, front assist, uh, in conjunction with adaptive cruise control. So you can set your following distance for that. Down here in the tray, if you can see that. The little arrow's moving next to the fastened seat belt icon there. That changes that. Now, you also have Volkswagen's digital cockpit. Nothing's really changed there. Uh, with the view settings, you have crop screen, you have dial screen, and then you have widescreen. And when you do widescreen, your gear is still over here, your speed is right here. But you do notice, they changed this icon for adaptive cruise control, and now you have this button, or this icon right here. That is for dynamic road sign display. Now the car has dynamic road sign display, and it can give you warnings when you're speeding. Pretty nice that it does that, right? Okay, over here you have the same MIB2 radio, navigation set up right here. Um, you can actually take navigation from over here and bring it back over here by touching the map button and now it's back Now something that people don't know about the car and it's going to show you a speed limit sign right there That's a new upgrade with that dynamic road sign display But right here see how north is pointing up. This is oriented right now So your navigation map will always show north is up and it will not orient to the direction you're traveling uh, of the car so sometimes that's confusing when you're using navigation. So if you just simply touch the end, it changes it to true north. Now the car's oriented the direction it's facing. And you don't have that problem. And if you decide you want to move the map back over to here where the compass is currently, just wave your hand in front of the screen. That brings up, uh, there's an infrared sensor that brings up the um, hot buttons. And then you hit the map button. And then that's back over here. It's like abracadabra. Your kids will be amazed. They'll think you're a magician if you show them that. Down here, vent settings as well as your heated uh, seat icons right here and buttons. So you do have heated seats for driver and passenger up front. 
Uh, then you have dual, I'm sorry, dual zone climate zone up front and a third zone for the back. So you have tri-zone truly. Uh, and you can bring it up on the screen by hitting that menu button right there. And now you can actually touch on the screen here. You can turn off the sink. You can lock out the rear. And uh, you can adjust the temperatures accordingly and also fan speed for the rear, the front. And I can make it lower again and I can change the temperature independent. So also it has air care. What air care does for you is your air filtration system. It scrubs the air and filters out any kind of allergens or pollutants before it circulates it in the car. There is your automatic start stop kill switch right there. And then also uh, the hazard button there. Now this only remembers it with each start. You can't just set hit that once and it do it every time. Also, down below, two USBs now instead of one. 2020 they changed that. You now have two USBs there and an auxiliary port and a 12 volt charger port. Down here you have wireless charging. So that is that actually a wireless, wireless charging pad that will work through your case on most phones. So you don't have to remove the case to put it on a wireless charging, you just put it on there face up and it will alert you on the screen when it's actually charging. Key fob got an upgrade, update. It's now got chrome accents on it. It's a little heavier, a little more substantial. Volkswagen logo on the back. You get one of these and one all black plastic key. Push button starts right there. Emergency brake right there. Pull up on it to activate it. Push down on the brake and push down on that to release it. Park distance control is still on this car. It also activates a rear view camera when you're stationary. And you do have trajectory steering with that steering with that uh, HD camera. By the way, it's the best HD camera I think I've ever seen on any brand of car. Uh, the yellow line does move according to the steering wheel. Then you have the green that just moves straight back. And then the red signifies where your bumper is. It's being, it's all motion, or sorry, four motion, which is all wheel drive. Sorry, it's early in the morning still. So you can change the display from snow to normal, which allows you to do eco, normal, sport, and custom. Then you also have off-road and off-road custom. Off-road custom will allow you to tweak each one of these aspects of the drive, change it to the on or off, change it from normal to sport. Um, he'll assist all of those features there. And then by turning this knob, I can turn it back to the roadway. And now I'm back to here. And then I can also push down on that same knob and get my selections here and cut down on fingerprints on here. There's that park distance control button, turn the system on and off and also activate your rear view camera. There's a look at that bold white stitching in the, the leatherette seat. Keep in mind these seats are heated and there's the headrest adjust there and seat belt adjust for the passenger side right there. The shadow's kind of covering it up. In the glove box, that is where your CD player is. Also SD card reader right there for navigation. Second SD card right there. These are seat belt clip protectors for when you're using child seats. And then you also have an additional SD card holders right there. Giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. The sunshade's already open. But push the button there. There's your ventilated setup right there. You can also open that and have it go all the way back. It covers the entire section there. It's hot outside, so I'm trying to get that closed. All right, let's take a look at the second row. The window stickers pulled off right there, so we're gonna do it on the seat right here. The extras on this one are gonna be uh, the monster mats for 285. Then you also have privacy cover right there for 200 bucks and then roadside assistance kit for 85 bucks, bringing this one to 45, 785. We'll move that up front there. That armrest does have an extra USB port in it. On the back side, there's your vents and climate control right there. Two USBs right there and also a three prong plug in for a 115 volt plug right there. So you can charge your laptop while you're driving. Latch set up for the seats there. So you have it in three places. You have it in the outboard seat, the middle seat, and then the other outboard seat on this side. So you can have three front-facing car seats here, or even, I'm sorry, rear-facing car seats here, or front-facing boosters. Now this being a bench setup, this is a seven-seater, and this is where the Atlas stands tall against the competition. This little lever right here is a game-changer. 
uh, along with this seat set up right here. So you just lift up on this seat here. The entire seat pitches forward. The bottom drops out. Car seat remains strapped in. You don't have to remove a car seat to get in to the third row access. So a lot of people swear when they come in that they have to have captain's chairs for ease of access to the third row. They're giving up a seat. They're giving up a passenger to, uh, as a sacrifice for that. With this car, you don't have to do that. This is still a seven passenger. As you can see, two seats pitch forward. You can climb into the back. The other cool thing about this, the competition has seats where, like the Chevy Traverse, where you can only access one side, where both passengers in the back have to get out on the same side. That seat does the exact same thing that this one just did. There's the lever up there on top. That seat pitches forward. It will join this seat. Even if it has a booster, you can get two passengers in the back, three in the middle. In the door, you do have a sunshade right here. That's standard on the SE and above. Those headrests do flip up for uh, added comfort for your rear passengers. You can get seven adults in this car, six foot plus. Notice how high off the floor the seat sets. So your knees are not bend, bend, oh, sorry, bent into your chest, which translates into discomfort. Your knees are more perpendicular, so a full-size adult will sit back there with no problem. To move the seat back, you just lift up on it, slide the seat back using a little bar underneath, and there you have it. To fold the seat flat, you lift up this handle right here, or to recline the seat, it does the same. And that seat folds flat, and so will those seats back there. As we go to the back, there's a look at the alloy wheel. It's a power lift gate, easy kick open. There's your trailer hitch, rated at 5,000 pounds of pulling. Here's a look through from the back, a true seven seater. There's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof with the sunshade. The instrument cluster, center console. And look through to the back. There's vents for your rear, or your rear passengers in the third row, and there's also a vent underneath the seat there, so they're not sweltering in heat and freezing in the winter. More cup holders and spots for storage right here and here. Top tether hookups on the back of those three bench seats, as well as back here in the back. There's a U I'm sorry, 12 volt charger port right there. There again is a look at those top tethers and emergency strap pulls right there to get out. Uh, for the rear, there's your latch set up right there. Fold the seats down, just flip those. Now you have that extra storage, and those seats will fold flat as well. And there's seat belt clips on either side to clip seat belts out of the way when you're carrying cargo and not get tangled. Cargo blocks here, monster mats, roadside assistance kit, and this one actually has a cargo cover too in that plastic there that nests right there and there with the third row folded down push button to close there's LED tail lights on there nice chrome on the back this car does come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty from Volkswagen with two years of free maintenance from Volkswagen and if you ask for me please ask for me when you come in if these videos have helped you anyway please give me a call let me know um, also just ask for me when you call the dealership If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty. That's 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty. Also, we'll give you an additional year of free maintenance. So you'll get three years of free maintenance. The third year is on us at our dealership, so you'd have to come here for that third year of free maintenance. If you live out of state, you still can get those uh, first two honored by Volkswagen at any Volkswagen dealer near your locale. So if you're interested in this car or any other car, please give me a call, 636-290-4257. That's 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.